Whichever. Whichever. Hello, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome. Today, we're interviewing Mi Kwan, um, who is going to join us on Instagram. I'm going to find her. Where is she? Hello, Celine. Um, okay, there you are. And I'm recording gonna, in progress. I'm going to launch you on the other side too. Mm -hmm. There you are. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, and you? Yeah, good. We can now turn off our sound on Zoom, and we can be here. Happy to see you. Where are you calling us from? Uh, Paris. Okay. And so it's what? Ten o'clock. Yes, 10 p.m. Great, great, great. And um, all right, so so we're going to be talking about your resetting experience. But before we go there, um, I first want to say that um, I think it's so cool that you're saying you're feeling so, so, so different and easy after your reset. And we'll see why and what's happening, but that you feel that you don't even need to prepare emotionally as an actress anymore because you're so open. So would you mind saying maybe the beginning of that when you did have to prepare, uh, prepare and that acting was hard, how did that look like for you? What, what, how, how was it happening? Um, well, I, I come from the method. Yeah. So I had like to, you know, find substitutions, um, like really find triggers and look down, dig down into myself, into my wounds, yeah. to my past, my imagination. So, oops. So it was a kind of torture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I could say that. Yeah. Uh, so it was, um, sorry, I'm just unplugging my oh, charger. So it was, uh, it was a bit hard, a bit, a bit painful. And um, I was exactly looking for something easier, mm -hmm. uh, effortless, because I, I, I thought my, my body was telling me, you can't do that for your entire life. <laughs> like, yeah, it's tiring. It doesn't, yeah, it, it's, like it, your nervous system is a little bit depleted when you have to work hard. Yes, it's definitely tiring. And I was looking for something softer mm -hmm. um, that would open my instrument easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And how long have you been um, feeling the challenge of having to work hard and kind of being depleted when you were acting? Um, well, I would say uh, since I, because I, I started my career as an actress like 19 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and at the beginning, I didn't really know where to go, what to learn. Um, so I was going here and there. And then I discovered uh, the me sense memory and uh, all the method mm -hmm. things, the tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, so s it was, it was great when I was doing it, but the process before mm -hmm. the shoot or before the audition mm -hmm. was very, very painful. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I had to prepare myself for maybe sometimes an hour Mm -hmm. Or uh, before a shoot, I had to be in that, sink into that character and be only that character for days, yeah. or weeks sometimes. And, uh, you know, when you, people usually hire me to cry. So I had to, to be in that mood for a whole, a, a lot, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it was really tiring. And... Uh, and after I was drained, yeah. totally drained. And uh, sometimes I wouldn't say depressed, uh, but I was like, ah, yeah, wiped that's out. a lot. Yeah, yeah, wiped out. And um, and my body was just like, oh, no, I had to sleep for, for days after yeah. that. And then there's also the part that, well, it's hard work and it's depleting you. And also where the heck is, is the pleasure, right? If you're, you're an yeah. artist and you're choosing a discipline that's there to, um, you know, to, to create through your full expression, and it's painful. And just the fact that it's painful, but that people sustain that pain and keep going with that pain 
for a long time without questioning what well, well, well that, like this is this is not working for me like i'm doing this this is my life choice it it should feel pleasurable and yet it feels hard and we're all conditioned to work so hard and that's we really have to work hard and then you can get the you know the reward and so the, the the conditioning is so screwed up that we maintain things that don't work for us because we think it's the right way to go and yet it's not it's not fulfilling and if it's not fulfilling yeah. for you it can't really be fulfilling for the character or for the audience or the story right yeah definitely. exactly so um is that why like is is it because you were feeling wiped out that you started resetting or did you get to a breaking point that made you um, look in another direction what what happened um somehow i think my body was just telling me i need something else right yeah. now mm. uh, I'm, i reached the point where i'm okay i know my tools mm -hmm. i have a lot of technique even a casting director during a workshop said oh you have a lot of mm -hmm. techniques but now you have you to drop act. the technique yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so i was like okay so i have to find something else so i was looking i i don't i, I didn't really know what mm -hmm. uh but then i i discovered you yeah. <laughs> and it's really what you were saying um was really impacting me so uh you know when you hear something and it really connects deep down yeah. into you yeah. into your soul and um and so it really came at the right time because my body was mm -hmm. just telling me you need something different yeah. right now um, your body was needing something different yeah, yeah. requiring my instinct yeah. was requiring something totally different Mm -hmm. that makes sense so, so i'm glad you could hear your body because oftentimes i see a lot of people starting to move in, in our community and starting to wanting to get free and to reset and the disconnection with the body is so you know it's so it's so absolute that they really really um feel very lost uh when they realize that that they can't they don't actually know even what they feel they're like so far into the doing it right and the using the head that they're not able to actually know the, the truth of what they're going through okay i'm in a i'm in a meeting right, right now so i'll come later and um so how was it for you to reset actually when you started <laughs> that's okay thank you <laughs> um my daughter's sick at home so that's why she's part of the zoom um so yeah you started your reset how did it feel how was it for you was that easy difficult um well it, sometimes it was very difficult mm -hmm. because it was you know uh hitting me where uh, like you know biting me like you know like a small animal like biting me uh where i didn't want to go yeah and i was like okay when it's itchy when it hurts that's where you have to go yeah. so um uh, so it wasn't easy all, all the all, all the whole journey and um so there were ups and downs and moments i was like okay when is it gonna end yeah. uh to be honest but I, i'm i'm really glad to have gone it through all of it mm -hmm. uh because it's yeah it's the life experience mm -hmm. and um yeah i'm i'm uh, i'm appreciative <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely so give us the give us the before and after we know how it was feeling before it was hard work and you felt wiped out wiped out um it was a lot, lot of energy and time and it was not um fulfilling not satisfactory how is it now that you're feeling reset well first of all i feel like somebody else as a human being mm. it's not only as an actress but mm. as a human being and yeah. and spiritual being actually mm. um and it's like i just connect to what's within and it just comes out i don't even control anything my body just takes it over 
and it's the woo, it's you like know mom, like a firework mom. yeah it's like a firework and after like having the sometimes some days the emotional roller coasters mm -hmm. uh, I'm not even tired I'm like okay what's next yeah I want more uh, yeah. I want more of it and you know what's happening so when you're really free and you're not working hard to work through your resistance and to wake up your instinct that's all the hard and the pretending and all that when you're not doing that and you're really just being you and being fully present and whole with your entire humanity not trying to hide parts of it and to show off other parts of it but you're just being truthfully free um it's what you're meant to be living it's your truth moment by moment and so that is why it's charging your batteries that is why you can do all of that and have the like what did you say the fireworks experience of yourself so it's 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 big or it's small when it, you know whatever's happening it's the what needs to happen happens and it's charging you it's not depleting you even if it's big because it's truth and truth is what you're meant to live you're not meant to live a better version of, of yourself you're not meant to work hard in order to improve or to be a better person or to be a more you know technical actor or a more confident actor or a more skilled actor like none of that has to do with you all of that has to do with bells and whistles that has that's like the guy who would show up on the on the has all the accessories like the the you know headband there and here and the super you know modern absorbing socks in the the top like this like none of that makes you a good tennis player and like when you're when you're trying to be better than yourself you're using so many techniques and methods to to not be you basically it's, it's such a hard work because it's impossible you are definitely me Kwan, and you're perfectly human in the unique way that only you can be and share and and that's where the gold is that's where your genius is that's where your talent is that's where the juice is that the director needs that the character needs that the you know that the story needs that the audience needs to be impacted with all the rest is bullshit you are what people are looking for mm -hmm. people are not looking for the props <laughs> they're not looking for the, the little stuff that, that you can hang around your neck they're looking for for your true version of what it's like to be alive and so that's why you can do big stuff without having to prepare because you're you know tapping into your humanity and and you feel charged after that you're like when's the next one yeah and uh, yeah there was also something that really triggered me is mm -hmm. that when uh and now i'm crying <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> is that when um, I was really listening to myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> to my instrument and my resistance, mm -hmm. and um, and after that I felt so good and, and yeah. so, oh my God, this is so good! Like to be allowed to listen to what I feel and mm -hmm. express it. Mm -hmm. uh, that was wow, yeah. really it's like all i would say almost like a therapy <laughs> yeah it feels like the thing is that like we've been raised to not feel our emotions and then you reset yourself and you're like oh i can like you said you use the word allowed right which is crazy that you come to this world and you're not allowed to be you so why are you here if you're not allowed to be you like why did whatever the energy source the universe whatever you want to call it make you if you're not allowed to be you so when you claim that back and you're yes s stepping into your truth and being you it feels incredible because being you is what you came to live so it's bingo it's like oh this is the entire purpose is for me to live me not for me to try and be something else not for like lions don't try to 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 be rats rats are not trying to be trees only humans are trying to like look at instagram like all you can see is oh you should be more like this and you should try to be like that and be like me and be more like him and but don't be like that i mean it's crazy you're you're perfect mm. and and i don't even agree with people who who say you know we're all imperfect and we have to accept that it's not true you're perfect we're perfectly different and human 
and there's no right and wrong you're, you're just who you are and that is really the medicine that characters and stories need for the audience to be impacted by truth yeah so i'm, I'm glad that that you got yourself back and then that you're not working hard to be someone else anymore that you are yourself and enjoying you know the 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 richness of your instrument and that you're also enjoying that on a personal level because it's, um, you know, we're here to live our lives fully. I'm so glad. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, thank you. It's also changing my life, my mm -hmm. personal life, who I am, how, how I am. Like mm -hmm. when, when I'm in my daily life, I, mm -hmm. I can be myself. Yeah. I, yeah. It's That's amazing. More bold for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. I love it yeah. because that's who I am. And regarding my education, I wasn't allowed to yeah. be that bold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, so it's great. Fr totally tr freeing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah. I'm reading Celine is saying there's a life before and after Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people who reset actually spend more time talking about the impact on their lives. And of course it transforms the way you come to acting and the way you show up your presence and all of that. Um, but, 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 you know, our life of course is, is without our life, we can't act. So the, the way that it impacts you being able to, to be your true self is, is I've been, I've seen people heal some medical issues. I've seen some people heal some relationships. I've, I've seen miracles when people reset and become themselves. Like it feels like everything falls into place. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm so glad. Is there anything that you would like to add for, you know, maybe actors that you feel may have confusion about what this is because um, we don't tell what it is because there's nothing that I'm teaching so there's really <laughs> nothing that I can say because it's a, your personal experience but what would you yeah if there's anything you want to share or not um, there's an example mm -hmm. outside of the journey but while I was doing the journey I experienced it mm -hmm. that I, I think I, could, I can share and that might speak to some people mm -hmm. Uh, I was doing a workshop with a director mm -hmm. and um, so I was working on a scene but I was the scene was more about the the main like the the, the child uh, so I was more more um, mostly reading mm -hmm. for that person for that mm -hmm. actor and so the director said oh maybe it should be good to have your close up to work on something else so he hand me a scene and I literally had five minutes mm -hmm. to prepare yeah. because he was doing a last take for another actress. Mm -hmm. And so I had just had the time to read it twice. And, um, and then I went in. Mm -hmm. So, um, and from the first, because we just had time to do two takes. So I had from the first take, I was already super connected mm -hmm. to my feelings yeah. and whatever was inside mm -hmm. and that was serving actually the, the character yeah. and um, and uh, after I was done the other participants the other actors because some of them were working on that scene mm -hmm. and had the scene like two weeks ago yeah. And they were like, oh, my God, you learned the lines so fast. Yeah. And it was effortless. Yeah. I didn't have like to, you know, brainwash myself mm. with the lines or whatever. I just felt, I just felt it mm -hmm. and connected to it and, um, and listened to myself, what was going on step by step, moment to moment. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and that was it. So yeah. the journey definitely helped mm -hmm. me reach that ease mm -hmm. and that you know it's like you're in a cloud <laughs> it's pleasure i don't know that yeah yeah it's, it's like you're in a cloud and you're again. yeah yeah and you're just oh that's the flow okay yeah. let's just follow the flow that goes that way or that yeah. way just let's just do it mm -hmm. and you just you just fly that's wonderful and that was beautiful 
That's so great. Well, I'm so happy for you. A lot of stories like this happen where people, you know, are reading um, for something and then the director sees them and they're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to give you a role because like the freedom is a little bit rare these days. And so they really appreciate that. There's a lot of success stories like that where people come in for one role and walk away with another one or get roles rewritten or enlarged or yeah. So that's great. I'm very um, happy that you were able to enjoy that and that you were able to share this with the rest of the community. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Great. Yeah. Wonderful. So if you guys um, are relating to this, if you're interested, if you're feeling like you have um, also been feeling like it's hard work and it's painful and it's not that fun anymore and you can connect with what Miquan is sharing, that you want some of that freedom back, some of that flow, that fun, let us know. You can send us questions, you can send us a DM and we can send you some information. Uh, We can send you some free trainings. We can send you a waiting list for the reset journey. So don't hesitate. Um, We are here and uh, happy to answer all of your questions to see if this is right for you. Great, wonderful. Thank you, Miquan. Thank you. All right, let me turn this off here.